What's up guys, this is a Transformer Gundam. First of all, I just want to say Happy New Year's. This is going to be my first video for 2024. And today I figured I wanted to do a quick review on the Gundam Mobile Suit in Action Death Scythe. Now, if you didn't watch my last video, this is a old action figure that comes from the MSIA or a Mobile Suit in Action toy line, which was popular in around the early 2000s in America around the time of when Gundam Wing was on Toonami. And I uh, recently got this figure uh, from the popular eBay seller Gundam R Us, uh, also known as Joshua Gundamu on YouTube. Uh, he was closing his eBay store down for good, so I wanted to buy a figure from him before his store closed. And I decided on this Death Scythe here. Now, uh, I do have a bit of history with the Gundam Death Scythe. Uh, as a kid, he was always one of my favorite mobile suits. And um, my first ever Gundam kit I ever built was actually the 1 to 144 skill Death Scythe. So, uh, yeah, I have a lot of history with this mobile suit, and I'm very happy to have this here in the Gundam Mobile Suit in Action toy line. So, um, here is a quick look at the figure here. Uh, these are really nice figures. I really like the plastic. It's a soft kind of rubberized plastic. So these things are very durable and very playable. And I just absolutely love these figures growing up as a kid. Uh, I actually used to collect these before I got into building the Gundam model kits. Uh, so there's a lot of sentimental value behind this figure here for me. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to just do a quick little review on it. So. Now let's take a closer look at the details here. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. This face is actually not original to this figure. According to the eBay listing, this is actually the Gundam Death Scythe Hellhead that he put on a regular Gundam Death Scythe body. Uh, honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. Like I looked at pictures of the original head that came with this figure and it looks exactly the same to me. So uh, yeah, I have no complaints here at all. And the color that's like a darkish blue matches almost perfectly with the rest of the color used on the body. So absolutely no complaints here for me with the head. It looks basically spot on to uh, the original head that came with this figure. And everything else here should be original. So uh, the body and everything else, the only thing that was not was the head. Uh, all the paint details are there, all the yellow on the shoulders. Uh, the red on the uh, crotch um, and yeah so we get a very nice it's like a darkish blue almost gray color then of course obviously we get white the feet down here is a bluish black I'd say it's a little more black than blue and then of course we get the light blue for the front skirts and the gray here on the shoulders um, and I, they even go ahead, went ahead and painted the little guns on the chest gray as well, so that's very nice. Um, and then we got, of course, the green front-facing camera, and looks like they actually didn't paint the back-facing camera, but that's okay. Um, basically, all the paint details are here, minus that. Uh, here's a look at the backpack. It's got one giant booster here. And yeah, that's basically it for the details. So let's get into the articulation. Since this is a earlier MSIA figure, uh, it's not the best compared to some of the newer figures that are out now, but honestly, it's still not bad for the time. So starting off the head is just on a simple ball joint. So it goes up and down a little bit. We get some side to side and some rotation. The arms can rotate a full 360 degrees. Uh, the shoulder can move separately from the arm, as you can see there. Uh, the arms can go out only about that much, so we don't really get too much going out as it does hit this little detail here in the shoulder. Uh, we do get some rotation at the elbow. Elbow joint is a single joint, so we get about 90 degree bend there. And then for the hands, they can rotate a full 360 degrees. As for the waist, we do get some rotation it's a very tight joint in there. Um, as for the front skirts, these are rubberized, so they can move, but they're very stiff here. Side skirts can move as well. Back skirts, uh, it's a softer plastic, so you can kind of force it out of the way, but they don't really move. Uh, so the legs can kick forward about, I'd say about there. So a pretty decent kick going forward. Going back, 
don't really get too much going back and then going out to the side. We get not too bad there. Obviously you can't do the full splits. Uh, since it's a ball joint, you get a little bit of rotation here at the thigh. And then for the leg bend, bends at a single joint. So you get about 90 degree bend there. And then for the feet, they are, I believe they're just on a ball joint to go up and down, side to side and rotate. And then the ankle guards, I believe they can move, yeah, they can move up and down there. So that's really about it for the articulation. Pretty basic, uh, but not bad for me, for a figure from the early 2000s. I don't remember exactly when the Gundam Wing line came out, but I'm pretty sure it's just an earlier line in the Mobile Suit in Action figure line because it did go on for a good while before it was repla eventually replaced by the Robot Domachi line. Uh, so quickly getting to the accessories, we get the main accessories you would expect for the Death Sight. So first of all, we get the shield very nicely uh, painted. We get all the colors I would expect, the red, the gray, blue, and the yellow. And then these parts, of course, open and close. And with that, you do get a little beam that can plug into the shield like let's see if I can get this in here like so and then initial obviously he would detach this from his arm and then it would spin into a mobile suit and destroy the mobile suit so there you go that's pretty cool and then obviously you can also attach this to the arm it just attaches via a little plug that goes into a hole it can go on to either arm there as you can see so it just attaches very simply like so there you go stays on very well no problems there and then of course the final accessory is obviously the scythe so here it is the scythe the main weapon of the death scythe uh the actual beam itself is removable and it is very nicely detailed i do like this beam effect a lot very very cool looking and then as for the actual handle very basic doesn't have any moving parts uh the actual blade can plug into the hole there like so so there you go and then you can obviously plug it into the hand um it, this figure only comes with the open style hands uh, i don't believe it came with any close fists or anything like that a lot of the later gun msia figures came with uh, other hands like close fist and um like other accessories but this one i'm pretty sure just came with two open hands which works perfectly well for the death sight so you can hold the sight with no problem and he can also easily dual wield it. So you can just put it, let me take the shield off, put it into the other hand, like so. And there you go. So now you can have the death side dual wielding the side very easily there. So that's nice. And then you can also store the scythe on the back. It could just plug into this little area here on the back skirt like so so there you go not the best connection in the world but you can store it back there so there you go and that's basically about it for this figure very basic but i do love these gun of msa figures a lot they're just so much fun to mess around with and play with and they look really good uh to this day like this is still a very nice very anime accurate looking death sight so if you want to add it to your collection, I would highly recommend it. And I believe you can still find this figure for fairly cheap. You can probably find it used on eBay for probably around $20, maybe a little less if you do some looking. But uh, again, highly recommended. Now I do want to get into some size comparisons as this is kind of a smaller figure. So I do have a bunch of figures to uh, compare it to. So uh, let's get into that. So for the first comparison, I did want to bring in a 1 to 144 scale Gundam model kit in case you're curious to see how well these MSIA figures scale with the 1 to 144 scale kits. Uh, they are a bit short. This is the 1 to 144 scale Leo, so they're not to scale, but they're, it's not terrible. I actually did do a little bit of photos with these two together and they don't look bad, uh, but yeah, it is still a little bit too short for the 1144 skill model kits, I think, in my opinion. Um, and then next, let's bring in a 1100 kit. So here it is with the 1100 scale counterpart, uh, the 1100 scale high grade Death Scythe. Uh, so yeah, obviously I wanted to make this comparison here. 
Uh, this was one of my earlier model kits. Not my first one, as my first one was the 1 to 144 scale version, which I broke a long time ago. So I wanted to get the 100, 1 to 100 version, which is a lot better. But anyways, yeah, you can see a major high difference between the 1 to 100 scale kits and the MSIA figure there. So there you go. Next, I wanted to compare it with a modern toy line. This is the Gundam Universe Wing Gundam. Uh, so yeah, these are a lot bigger than the older MSIA figures. I believe these stand at about 10 inches, and I believe these guys are about four to four and a half inches. So there you go, major size difference. These two definitely will not work together in your collection if you're wondering if you can collect MSIA with Gundam Universe. And finally, I wanted to compare them with some other Gundam MSIA figures. And while I don't have any of the other Gundam Wing figures, uh, I can bring in a couple here for a comparison. So first of all, here he is with a bigger mobile suit. This is the uh, MSIA Zok, which is also a really fun figure. Uh, but there you go. You can see how those two look together. Next, I do want to bring in some G Gundam figures since I do have a lot of these guys. This is the Toro Gundam or the Matador Gundam, which I actually have done a review on. So go check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, that's how this comparison looks. This is also a really, really cool figure. Next, we have it with a more underrated mobile suit, in my opinion. This is the Zebra Gundam. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very wacky design, but I still love it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to review this guy. He was actually a really fun figure. And then, of course, I had to compare it with one of my all-time favorite mobile suits. This is the clear mobile suit in action, Shiny Gundam. And yeah, these guys scale really well together. I think they're actually around the same height. Um, or if anything, the desk height might be a little bit taller. But yeah, these two suits scale almost perfectly. Okay, in final comparison, here it is with the extended mobile suit in action, our MSIA Mark II. So these figures are kind of like the version two MSIA figures that give him better joints. So he has double joints in the arms and the legs and overall just the articulation and quality of the figures have improved a lot by this point in the toy line. But this is also towards the end of the toy line. But yeah, great figure. I'm actually gonna be trading this guy away pretty soon here to get some more G Gundam figures in. So this is probably the last time I'm gonna be seeing him. But there you go. So that is basically it for the comparisons. Now we'll about do it for this review. I know it was on the shorter side, but uh, I just, man, I really do love these figures. These MSIA figures are so much fun to play with. Uh, and I don't know, it could be nostalgia talking, but these figures just really hold up for me in my opinion so anyways i would highly recommend this guy i know there are several versions out uh like the 144 scale high grade death scythe there's obviously uh, the master grade the old 1100 high grade which still stands up in my opinion um, but you know if you just want a fun little action figure to mess around with on uh, your desk uh, you can't go wrong with the msia i know they also have the gundam universe one out but I don't know. I mean, I do like the uh, Gundam Universe line, and I don't think it's bad, but I don't know. I just find these MSIA figures are so much more fun to play with. Uh, so yeah, highly recommended. Love this toy line. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. So um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this line or this figure, let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to give this video a like. Um, and don't forget to subscribe as well as turn that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And don't forget to join the Discord. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And yeah, with that, I will see you guys next time. Peace.